Have you seen a lot of children running around here and there and which is a persistent pattern? Have you also seen adults who decide impulsively without thinking or giving it a thought? I am Dr. B.S. Mahesh, Consultant Clinical Psychologist, Manipal Hospitals, Mangalore. And here we are to talk about this important topic called ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. In simpler terms or in layman's terms, it essentially means that when an individual is finding it really difficult to concentrate, that is what we call as inattention and the person can be overly active throughout the day which is again hyperactivity. Impulsivity is when they find it really difficult to take or make decisions in a very thoughtful manner. Typically, ADHD is diagnosed in childhood, but the symptoms can persist into adulthood as well. Usually, what we have noticed is when a diagnosis of ADHD is involved, a comprehensive evaluation is a must by mental health professionals or healthcare professionals, wherein they take into consideration the significant or considerable symptoms that can have a very huge impact on their life or day-to-day -day functioning in more than two settings, either at home or school or elsewhere. The signs and symptoms of ADHD are, the child may find it difficult to stay focused, may have difficulties in paying attention, can show excessive restlessness or the child can also forget a lot of things in their routine as well as they will find it difficult to follow through on certain instructions. The exact cause for ADHD is entirely unknown but it is likely a combination of environmental, genetic as well as neurological factors. Premature birth low birth weight that is less than 1500 grams, uh, exposure to some of the toxins or a family history of ADHD can be recognized as the risk factors. As part of the family history, let's say one of the biological parent has ADHD, then there are chances or more likelihood of the child having an ADHD. If the, both the parents have ADHD, then again there are more chances for the offspring or the child to have ADHD. This is something we can consider as part of the risk factor. ADHD can bring challenges to both children and adults. For children, they can have difficulty in concentrating in their academic activities. They may make careless mistakes while either copying an answer or answering an exam. They may forget a lot of things in their daily routine. They may also have impulsivity due to which they may lose friends or they may not be able to make proper friends. They may also end up forgetting certain things which are important for them and parents may have to buy a lot of things again and again. For adults, they may face work-related struggles. For example, they may have difficulty in focusing in their work, maintaining time, having difficulty in organizing certain things maintaining relationships and also regulating their emotions. Treatment for ADHD is again multifactorial. It can involve psychotherapy as well as medications. If you consider medications, there are stimulant medications as well as non-stimulant medications, which the psychiatrist will suggest based on the individual child's symptoms. When it comes to psychotherapy, there can be a lot of coping strategies or behavioral techniques in order to enhance their attention or reduce their hyperactivity and impulsivity that will be taught. There is no surefire way to prevent ADHD. However, early detection as well as management of the symptoms can lead to significant reduction in the impact that this condition can create 
also improve the person's quality of life. Let's talk about the stigma around ADHD. Misunderstandings about ADHD can create barriers. It's not just about getting distracted. It is a neurodevelopmental disorder that needs to be diagnosed by a mental health professional. So educating ourselves and others is crucial. Understanding what their strengths are of those who suffer with ADHD and creating an inclusive environment is the key. Remember, it's all about empathy and how we really make change in perceiving this particular condition as well as providing support for those with ADHD.